Hey guys, uh, searching the internet, I found zero videos on relative and absolute angles, so I thought I'd do one myself, and in case you were wondering, yes, that is D. Rose's autograph, and yes, LeBron is in trouble. So here's my leg uh, with some angles in it, but that's not very fun to look at. So here's D. Rose, and that's a little more interesting. Uh, there's a lot of angles going on here, but uh, I can't draw on this, so I'm going to have to bring up this photo I found. And this is uh, pretty straightforward stuff. You get absolute angles here on the left, and what makes an angle absolute is that it's an angular orientation of a body segment with a respect to a fixed line of reference, and I think the key part of that is a fixed line of reference. As you see here, the line of reference is the perpendicular line, or I'm sorry, excuse me, parallel line. It's the parallel line with the ground. As you see, there's one at the hip joint and the ankle and the toes. Over here on the right you get the relative angles and that's much more uh, straightforward. That's basically just uh, the range of motion on any uh, joint in your body. This example is giving you the knee and then at the bottom there's the ankle. So switching pictures here we go back to a absolute angle and here we are. You can see here it's uh, negative 60 or 300 degrees how you're looking at it. So then we switch over to the relative angle and we you can see the ankle range of motion or the fixed angle right here is uh, 110 degrees switching over to the knee you see it's uh, negative 120 it's uh, as simple as that so um... it's important to say that in uh when it comes to relative angles that uh, you take zero degrees from anatomical reference position so take the anatomical position and all joints are at zero degrees at that point so if you take this example with the knee it looks like uh, it's a uh, 120 degree uh, flexion into the sagittal plane so you could do that with any uh, any joints shoulders uh, elbows um, that's really basically the video. Uh, relative angles are in relation to other body segments and anatomical position, and absolute angles are in relation to a fixed line, usually uh, horizontal to the ground, or it can be perpendicular, so it can be vertical. Uh, I hope this uh, video has helped, and I'll see you in class.